Hey everyone, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. We are here today at LaGrange Park Ace Hardware, just outside Chicago, for another fantastic Traeger recipe. And I have to tell you, I'm learning how to make cheesecake on the Traeger, and I thought, who better to ask than none other than 26-time Perfect Score champion, Danielle DiVQ. Hey. Thank you so much. You know I love me some dessert. <laughs> uh, and all of those wins were making what? Cheesecake. Cheesecake, which... On a Traeger. I, on a Traeger, on which a Traeger. I have a recipe for cheesecake I want to learn how to make on the Traeger. Yep. It's like a match made in Traegering heaven. It truly is. You know, wood-fired kissed uh, cheesecakes, uh, you know, pies. I do it all on the grill. Love but it. But 26 in a row, they were all cheesecakes, all done on a Traeger grill. And we're going to show them how to do it. And if we can't figure it out, there is no hope for cheesecake. <laughs> it's all cheesecake goodness. It's delicious. It's decadent. It's perfectly done on the grill. I love it. It's Thanks Grilling, and thanks for joining us. All right, so we fired up the grill. We've got this set to 325. 25. Yeah. What temperature do you think is a safe range? Anywhere from 300 to 325. Um, you're going to do your cheesecake a little lower than a traditional oven. Okay. But I think that that's a better environment in regards to cooking it and also getting that beautiful wood-fired flavor into your cheesecakes. Well, and then I won't evaporate my water either in the water pan, right? Yeah, yeah. No water pan necessary. Here's but, the thing. Here's the deal. I don't see a water pan. Okay. You don't need a water pan. So when I'm at home and I'm baking this in my oven yep. and I use a water pan. Yes, sir. I don't need to on this. No, there's no reason to on a Traeger whatsoever. Um, the design lets you have this convection style heat that's gentle and indirect. Okay. And because of that, you're not going to get that gen like the like that overwhelming heat that hits a cheesecake. And that's why people actually have to use water pans because it's a heat sink. It just you know okay. evaporates into there. I, I love not it. I love it. Necessary. Pellet flavor. What are you thinking? Reserve right in your hands. Reserve. I see this, this guy. bag. This I love guy. it. Yeah. So what you do know, you like about this thing? Oak. Okay, that gives you that woodsy yep. kind of you know, wood fire thing. And then it's matched with two fruit woods, cherry and apple. Those fruit woods go perfectly with anything dessert wise. Awesome. And exclusive to you guys. It is exclusive to Ace. You picked, you picked my favorite. I'm not holding it like it's my favorite I child, but, but this is my <laughs> favorite pellet. I, yep. I have a couple hundred bags of this I keep yep. on hand because I really find it so balanced. It works great for everything. So we will get this guy topped off more. here. Yep and ready to go and then I'm packing this up taking these pellets home with me. You know, and one of the things I like about this this type of pellet is the fact that it is literally across the board good for everything. Awesome. There is nothing that that can't be used with. Cool. So let's let this warm up now, uh, get up to temperature and then we're going to get that beautiful spring form loaded and ready to go. And no water pan necessary. I, I still don't believe it, but I'm telling you, you are a perfect score recipient. I am not. We will get this figured out. Perfect goodness. Awesome. All right, so this is actually such a family favorite that it has uh, been requested this year for my wife's 50th birthday. The thing I wanted to do is get it onto the Traeger. So you ready to do this? I am ready to do this. So ginger snaps, because yep. we love ginger snaps in our house. Okay. Then I have a little bit of smoked salt I put in there. I like the smoked salt component. It just, it, bit. It's like sweet and salty, the yin, the yang, a uh, little bit of dark brown sugar, Okay. and then just enough butter to bring that all together because that's gonna become like the best crust on earth. Gotta tell you, it's smelling pretty fantastic right now. And this is just the crust components, right? This is just it, this is just the crust. That's all it is, a little bit. And I usually judge butter. I know it says a stick of butter, but I like it to just be wet enough to stick together and not so much that we're gonna have it leak out into our oven or into our uh, drip pan. You know, one of the things is, is that not all cookies are created equal. Right. Some have a higher moisture content. And so I think it's kind of one of those things, like you said, you yeah, have yeah. to judge it accordingly, right? So we're going to pour that in here. And this is just a basic spring form pan that you, you sprayed it, right? Yep. This is okay. a 10 inch spring form pan. And I sprayed it with a uh, cooking spray that has flour in it because it helps it release a little bit. Yeah. The flour is cool because it actually holds it on the rise. Okay. But then as it settles, it, it uh, releases it. So now this is a convenient thing to do. If you didn't want to use gloved hand, you can actually use the bottom of a cup or sure. glass, yep. right? Because I've yep. done that at home. And this is where I always like to decide, do you want something to come out the sides or you just want the bottom coated? You know what I mean? You know what? And that's, yeah. I, and I'll give you my honest, <laughs> yeah. half the time I'm like, yeah, I'll have a little bit up the side and look at oh, that. I'll just leave it on the bottom that took so like seconds yeah done love it so all right what all do we right got? set that aside okay. so then cream cheese yeah uh, and I'm just using I don't use low fat I want I want this to be <laughs> God a bless reward you. I just God want this you. to be a reward <laughs> so um are you mixing and I'll add sure I'll all right mix. Okay. so just a good just what I love about gentle, this mixer just gentle 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 this is a really strong mixer it is and okay. the cool thing about this is it has uh, whisks on it that are more like uh, a wire whisk, not a beater, so okay. it fluffs that cream cheese up. That's so I awesome. let the cream cheese um, get nice and warm, room temp, because yeah. I've, I've learned if it's too cold, it makes little cream cheese balls. 
Yeah, and then you don't get that smooth, creamy finish. You know, yep. I love making cheesecakes. I make so many every year. Uh, I think that's what really separates a, a good cheesecake from an excellent, oh my gosh, jaw-dropping sure. cheesecake, is all these little tips you're giving people. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got that, the fluffy. All right, so all right. canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin. Just plain and simple. And this is, I think it was a 14, not 14 yep. and a half ounce can. Okay. I know they, they come in two different sizes, but, uh, and these guys are usually dry enough. I don't have to worry about draining them or yeah. uh, having any extra moisture. So, pumpkin goes in pumpkin next. Pumpkin goes in, okay. That's, of course, you know, it smells like fall right now. Right. Okay. You know. Then, I get that pretty well incorporated till it gets kind of creamy. Okay. Um, because I always like it because I can see if there's any cream cheese balls. Yeah. Um, and then if I need to, I we can say, always. Scrape the sides, yeah. right? And this is great having uh, help because I always have to stop and then the, me, uh, mixer falls over and then the beaters get all over and then so teamwork is a good thing teamwork once makes the again you get, you're getting that family involved in the holidays preparations you know all right so we've got a beautiful beautiful color here yep. look at that and lovely orange four eggs so four whole eggs okay. one two three number four and then for good measure just one yolk now that's giving you some luxurious texture. Beautiful. The proteins are binding yep. all of that cream cheese together as well. Um, and of course, you know, that's that's the glue that kind of holds a lot of stuff together when it, it comes sure to cheesecake, does. right? Yep. Then uh, cane sugar. I love, love, absolutely love cane sugar. It just has Why? such a better, it just has a better, richer sugar flavor. Um, and I just think it makes, uh, it makes for baking, makes it so much better. Then a little bit of tartness out of the sour cream. I'll tell you right now, every single cheesecake that I make at home has sour cream in it because at the end of the day, that sour cream is gonna balance the acidity of the sugar that you just put in there. It's not gonna take away the sugar, it just kinda mellows it all out and yep. brings it together. And yep. I, I'm a huge fan. Pumpkin pie spice. Of as, course. As we always say when seasoning, as much or as little as you like, some yep. beautiful vanilla extract. Yeah. Then Flour. High five on this one in flour. a big way. Flour really helps this cheesecake along. Um, I have just found when I'm making this at home in the oven, it okay. is absolutely what I need. Structural integrity. Yep. It, it's like it's like a little bit of that insurance for your cheesecake, and it only does take two to three tablespoons of yep. flour to do that. Yep. yep. Um, I use just regular all-purpose flour. It, it seems to work just fine. And you bring this all together, and then you, as you can see, once you have that cheesecake like really, really well mixed, oh, oh my gosh, so good. I was just gonna say, it smells it crazy. so good. Yeah, we were talking about earlier about what candles we think should yeah. be made. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I mean, pumpkin pie candles, I think, are one of God's gifts to all of us, okay? Done. All right, you wanna scrape down those sides one yep. last time? So we'll give this a scrape real now, quick. Do you, do you and chill I your usually, batter? Do you, do you chill, what? Do you chill your batter before it goes in? I don't, I go right in because it actually, I think, helps um, make it more velvety. Um, and it's already a little bit warm, so we're not shocking it um, and going from ice cold to hot. So, all right, so let's tap that those is off. It. I'll pass we'll those to you, sir. We'll set this on the side here. We'll bring back that beautiful crust. Look at that. Now we've got a gorgeous batter. We've yep. got the crust, and you're just gonna pour it in. I don't ever chill mine either. I, I don't believe in that either. Cool. So, so we are uh, we're on to the same wavelength here. Yeah, we are definitely definitely par for the course when it comes to doing a cheesecake. But I do one thing though. What do you do? I'm gonna show you when you're done. It's a trick I learned many years ago. Okay, so when you get your cheesecake in here, ah. tap out those extra little bubbles. I love it. So that's it. I mean, quick the, and painless. Mm -hmm. Now it's time seconds. to get. Uh, yeah, what seconds? Seconds. Now it's time to get over to that ironwood right. and uh, talk about the rest. All right. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. You're ready. This goodness is gonna happen. So we're preheated, 325 degrees. Have yep. the reserve blend pellets, and we're gonna put it right in the middle. No water pan necessary. No water pan. None. That's it. Just a pan of water on the side? Nothing. No water. Nada. All right. So silch. Leave it closed. Don't I know because <laughs> I don't like to disturb the oven. I don't want to yeah. disturb the grill because I know if they slam it shut, it drops. Yeah, one of the things is is that you don't want to be peeking on this, okay? Um, for a good solid 45 minutes. Okay. In, my, in my case, yeah, usually, I'm the same way. Uh, that's usually where I'm going to start checking. And okay. then it's literally going to be literally touching the top, going, how much is the jiggle? So you touch the top. I more or less grab the pan and give it a little wiggle. Either way. Either way. All right. Yeah. So a wiggle or a jiggle? Wiggle, jiggle, check the cheesecake. 45 minutes, 45 we're coming minutes. back. We're coming back. All right. That's it. Are we done? We're done. We're done. We are done like dinner. Done. So <laughs> how do we know this thing is ready to go? Okay. 
So in my world, I want to be able to just barely touch the top, okay? okay? It should be literally just starting to set. Now you do a little different method. You jiggle the sides, yep. okay? For me, that's step one. Okay. Our cheesecake is done at that point. But that's not the end of the journey for me. I really, really, really recommend a four hour at least or overnight yep. chill in the fridge. Everything comes together even better then. And I like the texture of it better. So finish on the grill. On and the remember, grill. for thanks grilling, yep. why not get a couple things done early? Correct. Make but, it easy. But I'm confused. No water bath no. and no cracks. No cracks. What gives? It's all about the convection design. It's all about the fact that, you know, we've got the right pellets, the right grill. You know, we've got a low and slow cheesecake yep. and it literally comes out perfect. Look at that. I'm blown away. So now we're going to take it off. We're going to go in the fridge and I will never, ever make a cheesecake in the oven again. I haven't done one in so many years uh, because this just works every single time. Consistent, repeatable results. Great pellets, great grill. Thanks grilling on the grill. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I learned something. <laughs> I'm blown away. No water bath. Totally no water blown bath. away. Not at all. Thank you, first of all, because um, I'm just not sure I've ever had a cheesecake look that amazing. So I have my traveling fork. I have my traveling bamboo fork. And I think we should get in here and give a give this a little quality control. You know that I didn't hesitate at all. Right. This, right? I mean, you know, you want to make sure you don't serve something. I want everybody to enjoy family. it, right? Yep. And that setting up over in the fridge overnight really makes a big difference. Um, it's super creamy. Oh my word. And it's not over cloyingly sweet, which is a big no. thing for me. And I, you can taste the total tartness out of that tiny amount of sour cream we added. You're never done learning, ever. And ever. we hope you've enjoyed all of these YouTube videos we've created for you. We've got stuff like Gorgeous. Traeger turkey. Gorgeous, Traeger brined, amazing turkey. We Traeger have stuffing. sage and sausage stuffing done on the Traeger, and now we're showing we you- We Traegered your dessert. Yeah, your recipe, my method, all excellent. Money. Awesome day. Goodbye, oven. Hello, Traeger. Happy, thanks. Life is good. Thanks, grilling. Be sure to click below, grab all these recipes and more from Ace, the helpful place.